Hey guys, today I'm in San Conchua. My name is Chis and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to The Promised Neverland, Ayakso Kuna Neverland Season 2, Episode 5. Yeah, I have seen a lot of interesting things regarding this episode. Yeah, I've seen a lot of negative comments and that is kind of an understatement. Like, I've even heard people saying this whole show is ruined because of this episode. So yeah, I, <laughs> I, so yeah, I don't know, like, I have to watch this episode, of course, like, I cannot just drop this show without having any reason for that, you know, like, I need to personally experience the worst to decide for myself whether I'm gonna continue this show or not, but... Yeah, I wonder, because like I'm an anime only, so I haven't read the manga, so I don't know how the story's supposed to go. So I wonder if this episode is also really bad for anime onlys as well. If this is as bad as people say, even if you haven't read the manga, then I'll drop it. I'll drop it, but I'll decide that after I watch this episode, of course. Because I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious what triggered people so much to say that this episode was just so bad. So I'm very curious. <laughs> I'm, uh, so I don't know. I want to go into this episode like unbiased. You know, I've seen all these negative reactions. But I want to jump into this episode with an empty mind. You know, like I don't know what to expect because I haven't read the manga. I don't know how the story is supposed to go. So will I experience it just as bad? I wonder. In any case, we'll find out. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop right into the episode. So let's go. Alright, I'm ready, so I'm gonna set the episode in 3, 2, 1, go. It's time of the opening again. But it's such a shame, like, the opening is so good and everything looks, like, so promising. Yeah, this song is still good. This song is so good. What was that? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what is this? Like some kind of market? Oh, interesting. This is like the first time we actually see a civilization, you know? Like how do know how the demons live? Oh my god, so they just sell those kids heads? Ugh. Oh, I'm 
Jesus. Dang. A hand is just like a snack for them, you know? Ugh. Some kind of ruins. Wait. It looked like um, the diary of Anna. Who was the one who started the diary? I think it was Anna. Those, those are the children. So what they created like a new base? I guess. Oh, so those were Emma and the others, disguised as demons. They all look grown up though. So a year has passed, right? Since then. Weird. I didn't expect like this sudden time skip, you know? What is that thing in the background?
it's all very tough, you know? Yeah, interesting. It's like the first time we see Emma this negative, you know? She was always so optimistic, like, yeah, I'm gonna do this, we can all do this. So it feels really weird to see you so depressed, you know? But then again, a lot of time has passed, right? Like a year or so. Oh, that's something I was wondering about indeed. Like, are they hiding their scent or something? Because I'm sure like demons can smell humans, you know? Intruders again. The demon, the demon seems to be blind, but Oh, so those apples were offerings to their god, maybe? Only she knew that she was surrounded by the meat they want to eat. Oh, 
克。So now we do have like normal demons looking for them as well. <laughs> Those fish again. <laughs> oh. Why did her face look really different in that one shot? Like the animation was very different. Oh, those are the two demons that are looking for them. Uh oh. Oh no. I got found.
That is Ray, right? I think. And Emma, okay. What's going on? It's surrounded. What? They got killed like that? I knew he was alive, I knew he wasn't dead, but I didn't expect him to show up this way. Is this what people meant by this show is ruined? Because Norman came back. Is that what it is? Because honestly, like, I don't feel like it's... It was that bad, you know? Of course, like, I have nothing to compare this with because I haven't read the manga. And of course, the story went completely different, you know? Like, the previous episodes were really focused on survival in the wild and this time they were real still like surviving but they were like in the part where the demons actually live you know so like i said it was also like the first time we saw a civilization and everything you know and see how the demons live normally huh okay but interesting Interesting. Like, I wouldn't say yet that this show's ruined. I wouldn't go that far. It was definitely not that bad. In, at least in my eyes, it, this was definitely not that bad. It was just very surprising. Yeah, you know, everything was very surprising. The sudden time skip. I feel like, okay, maybe I understand what people feel bad about because there's a hole. There's a hole, a big hole, from like where we ended the previous episode and from where we started in this episode. There's this, this one big gap and we have like zero explanation. Like the last thing we saw that they got pursued by the human soldiers, right? And they sort of got saved by the sudden monster that appeared and that big monster who got rid of all these soldiers. And for some reason, just the soldiers didn't go after the children. And thanks to that, they could escape. So after the escape, I assume that they went to that demon town where they found this new shelter inside that old cathedral church. I don't really know what to call that 
building it's like a religious building right that doesn't get used anymore because of the fact that the old blind demon went there to offer some apples it kind of shows that the building has a religious meaning you know but that is their new shelter and they managed to survive by disguising themselves as demons also hiding their own scent because they don't want to let their own scent give away that they're humans right so now that i think about it there are actually a lot of plot holes right so this story went completely anime original so they probably haven't really thought about all these details so i already talked about that huge gap like what happened in between like after they escaped from that huge monster to where they are at right now you know after the time skip like that is a huge gap and for example things like how did they manage to find that old building in the first place without being noticed right how did they know about the ways to hide their own scent you know like they used that special grass or something to hide their own human scent but how did they know about it you know that such kind of things those are like details but they all cause like little plot holes in this new created story but if i leave them out it wasn't that bad like it was just very surprising this whole new setting of the story there were also more surprising aspects of course like we see how the characters have changed like personality wise we've seen a much more matured emma maybe like less naive as she used to be like as we saw like she was really worried whether they could be able to live on like that you know whether she was able to support all these children whether they were able to rescue phil and the others you know first of all she was so confident that she would be able to do that you know and right now she doesn't have that same confidence anymore or like the naivety at least so you can see that the personalities have changed a little bit so that was quite surprising together with the fact that we had this sudden time skip you know in the first place but another surprising thing is that we really got to focus on like the demon side you know with the old demon those two brother demons who are trying to get meat for their sick siblings i guess yeah i found that really surprising because that was the first time we got to see this whole situation from the demon's perspective and i felt like they were really trying to force us to feel compassion towards the demons i feel like that is what they were trying to achieve in this episode you know like by showing those sick demons by showing that old blind demon offering the apples to the gods in the hope that the gods will grant them more meat you know they, in such ways they're trying to make us feel bad for the demons while we should be scared for the demons because they want to get the meat and uh, catch the children so it felt a bit strange to see things from their point of view you know and then of course the biggest surprise is the return of norman like i like on one hand i'm not very surprised i knew that norman wasn't there like the way they showed the end of norman in season one it wasn't as it wasn't like oh he's dead you know he just disappeared from the story so i was like okay he will come back to the story one way or another but not in this way this is not the way i was expecting him to return so that that got me confused you know like it just seems like he's together with this group of people i don't know we we um we just saw his reappearance so we haven't gotten any explanation or something like that yet so that's something we'll have to wait for next episode so now the question is am i gonna continue this show or not and i don't know the answer yet i've only seen like video titles of like reaction channels or review channels that just mentioned how bad it was but i haven't listen to their reasons yet because i did i didn't want to spoil anything for myself i first wanted to watch this episode before i listened to their reasonings why this episode was supposedly so bad so i will go check all these videos out right after this so that will help me decide whether i'm gonna continue or not because right now i don't feel like i want to drop it immediately that's not the feeling i have right now you know because this episode from in my opinion it wasn't bad there were a lot of like surprising elements and like I explained 
there were quite a lot of potholes maybe <laughs> but it wasn't bad bad so i really wonder why people thought it was bad you know <laughs> like why this episode was supposedly their worst episode of the promised neverland ever i don't know i'm very curious so i want to hear your guys's opinion as well like i'm sure like a lot of you guys have read the manga as well and like me so i want to hear your opinion on the continuation of this show like do you guys still want to see my reactions to upcoming episodes or would you guys just prefer me to drop the show and focus on other shows you know so please let me know your opinion in the comment section below because i'm very very curious especially after this episode and i will give you guys an update of what i decide to do with this show so yeah very very interesting but that was my reaction to this episode i hope you enjoyed it so if you did please give this video a thumbs up and if you can see my other reaction videos please to check out my channel and subscribe so in case thank you all for watching and i hope to see you next time bye bye